So we're going to have a look back now, though, at some of the best pitches from that second race of the day, second race of the weekend here at Zolder. And what a busy one it was. It certainly kept us on our toes, didn't it? Unfortunately, there was a slight connection issue in the opening lap, though, so some of these pictures might even be new to me. But everyone was really anticipating a lot of fun and action after a great first race really shook up the order. We had a number of drivers starting further down the order than they normally do, so they were certainly hoping for opportunities to jump up the order as quickly as they could. It was the two Scanias off the front row of Heinrich Clemens Hecker and Stefan Fass. Stefan going off on his own and then Heinrich Clemens Hecker doing the same down at the Kleiner Chicane. He managed to continue but Antonio Albacetti inherited the lead and then Norbert Kish once again made his way back through the pack. He had two less trucks to overtake in the form of Heinrich Clemens Hecker and Sasha Lenz after they came together down at turn three. And Antonio's lead got bigger and bigger. Norbert Kish quickly dispatched of Andre Kersim, who would defend fantastically to hold third position by the flag. And Norby would go reeling in Antonio at the front of the field and hope to try and catch him out. As mentioned, though, Andre Kersin was defending so, so well from the likes of Jose Eduardo Rodriguez, Jochen Hahn and Jamie Anderson behind. I had a lovely moment staring at Jonathan Andre's wing mirrors while Norbert Kish was staring at the back of Antonio Albacetti's MAN. Stefan Fass went off in the background into the tyre barriers, which ultimately would bring out the red flag in the end. Norby did take the race lead, but after crossing the line with five thousandths of a second between himself and Antonio Albacetti, Antonio technically wins the race on countback, a remarkably small margin. Fantastic stuff. I'm going to say goodbye for now, though, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure once again. Chaz Draycott here commentating from the UK, and I will leave the final words down to my wonderful colleague, Lena. I'll see you tomorrow.